afternoon. Happy Monday to all your sunshiny faces. Goodness, guys, I didn't wake up super early today. I went to bed actually early last night, but I feel like because I've been kind of like on a really bad sleep schedule and been waking up so late, I need to do a couple nights where I go to bed early and then I should get in the habit of hopefully getting up early. Um, so I wasn't up again super early today, but I got a lot of stuff done. Um, I ended up making dinner for tonight. I made um, just some of that. I had pre-made and froze those um, packets of like the, what is it? Chicken, broccoli, rice casserole. Um, like the cheesy chicken stuff. So I pre-made that maybe like two or three weeks ago, froze it and then defrosted it this morning, threw that in a baking dish and I already have that washed and am uh, soaking it right now. So made that for dinner tonight and then I did one load of laundry. I'm going to go do a second load real quick. I also did one load of dishes earlier today and I've got a second load already. Everything that's in here right now is dirty. I don't even have enough to run the dishwasher. Um, I don't have enough dishes yet. Um, so that's why I like this is soaking and I still, I don't even have enough yet left on the top yet to run the load. So I'll probably have to wait until maybe tomorrow morning to run it when we have like a couple bowls and stuff like that. I'm like cereal and stuff like that or whatever people end up having for breakfast. Matthew stayed home because he's sick. He had the flu. He actually didn't go to work yesterday. So he did get enjoy the Super Bowl with us yesterday. I don't know if I told you guys that. Maybe I did. Um, but yeah, because he was sick, he didn't go to work. And today he didn't go to school because he thinks he has the flu or something like that. Um, he's like having chills and everything. So what are you guys doing? Barking at every little thing. That was dad. He's shoveling because guys, I'm going to show him all the snow we got, Bliss. Look at all the snow, guys! Oh my gosh! <laughs> well, my dad shoveled, like you guys can kind of see out there, but um, there is like uh, maybe, I don't know how much we're supposed to get. On top of what we had already gotten like two days ago or something like that, we were supposed to get another like three to five inches today. And it was like high of like, I think just barely double digits today. It was really cold out. Um, so I did some baking too. I also made my breakfast potatoes, which are over here. I'm going to let these cool down probably in a little bit, end up putting them in Tupperware and then, um, letting those be breakfast for me for this week. And, um, it's only eight o'clock guys. The bowls game doesn't start until nine. So I'll still be able to get some more stuff done before that even happens. And then two, I got in here, um, in the dehydrator, I'd show you guys, but I don't want to open it up and ruin the time I have. I had some leftover spinach um, that was looking a little wilty and so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make some um, spinach chips. I love spinach chips, honestly, guys. To me, they taste better than um, kale chips, honestly. I love them. Um, like I said, I, I have not been able to get kale chips to like the store brands. Like, I think it's Red's kale chip or Fred's or Brad's, Brad's, I think it is <laughs> something, some short named um, kale chips that you can buy at the grocery store. I actually don't know if they still make them. I haven't really seen them that often. Um, I know they had them at Jewel, but I haven't been to Jewel in a while and I haven't seen them at the other two grocery stores I shop at. Um, but they were like the most delicious kale chips ever. Like seriously, they tasted so good. And I feel like I, my kale chips taste okay, but I haven't been able to get them up to the quality where they taste like that. And so the next best thing for me is spinach chips. I can make delicious spinach chips that I actually yeah, like. Yeah. So yeah guys, I'm sorry, I don't remember what I was saying. I got cut off. Something about spinach chips, but personally I think the way that like just making them yourself at home. I think spinach chips taste better than kale chips, like made from home kale chips. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I'm whipping up a batch of those. Just put a little bit of olive oil and some salt over the top of them and they'll be tasty chips. Honestly guys, they're a heck of a lot better than eating potato chips. Those are all fried and whatnot and all that that other oil and super salty. I mean, mine will be like salty-ish, but still be better getting some uh, some good spinach in there. But these are the brownies I made. I don't even know if I showed you guys. We already dug into them. I just had one. Oh my goodness, they were so good. They're peanut butter, chocolate, 
like and then with like fudge over the top because I still had a little bit left over from the cupcakes I made last night I was like oh you know what I'll make brownies today and put some of the the fudge like or not fudge but the um, frosting over the top so they the fudge or frosting wasn't like completely cooled yet um like super hardened so anyway so guys I am going to Finish up the one load of laundry. I also, too, guys, I made two freezer dinners as well. The freezer dinners for this week because I had two chicken breasts. So I ended up throwing um, them in made chicken noodle soup. So I've got that for um, my freezer dinners also done being made for this week. So I still have a couple. I'm going to make um, Aztec, what is it, Aztec quiche, I think, which is like a like spicy oh. kind of sort of quiche. And then also I'm going to make um what was it Sh like shrimp shrimp fried rice make it into a freezer dinner as well um and so i've also got ingredients to make a pasta salad so i think i'm going to make the pasta salad maybe tomorrow and then uh, just have it in the fridge like keep it in the fridge for the week and let people just kind of have it for like lunch or for you know an alternative to dinner if somebody doesn't like dinner or for myself as well but first i actually think i'm going to make it myself um there's some which has been buried under freezer dinners which is why this week when i only made two i could see it um i had some asparagus risotto that i made or not made but i bought from aldi it was like the frozen kinds and i've got half of a bag left over over. so I think that's what I'm gonna whip up real quick for myself for like a late dinner because I didn't really get um like I guess it's a it's a pretty late dinner but like I had lunch late today because I woke up so late which was kind of my breakfast um so yeah I'm gonna have that now and then like I said Bulls game should be on in about a half an hour and then I'm gonna watch that edit and then also to get to a little bit of work stuff that I want to get done for this week and um, just kind of again dip my toe in the blogging again and do a little sample post even if I don't post it this week it's gonna more be for myself um, and kind of more my grocery list but yeah I want to try and do that for this week and test that out so I was able to get that load of laundry done and I just actually was able to finish loading up the dish washer and got that taken care of i'm gonna go take a shower and head to bed i just took the puppies out too um and i forgot what else i was gonna say oh too i also didn't get that much done on my computers i wanted to i was watching the bulls game guys and they ended up playing the kings they were they had a uh, set nine points in the um first period <laughs> that was it and I was like oh my gosh this is going to be a blowout I was like that's awesome they ended up losing the Bulls lost by three points um so yeah they were up by like 20 something points and all of a sudden they came on this like streak and ended up completely like just like, dominating the Bulls um pretty much in that the second or yeah the second half so they got it like close in the first half but um then they just really started like beating them up <laughs> and it was sad too because um robin lopez he ended up getting ejected from the game like early so i feel like maybe if he was still in it might have possibly had a little bit of a different outcome but the referees blew some big calls too like i feel like both ways but one of them was because they ended up not calling a, a foul against robin lopez at the one end and he came back and they called some little ticky tacky thing against him and he got a technical foul and then he kept going got ejected and he kept going after that I mean he was like going off and like I've never seen him like that angry before um so yeah um but like I said I was like oh this will be such a good game and you know ended up losing it looked really promising but um they're still they were uh, they're still out Dunn is supposed to be out I think they were even saying to the announcers which was kind of the same as my dad that he'd be out until uh, after the all-star break I think um that he's been like back at the the lower leagues I guess like shooting around and stuff like that um but or I don't remember what they were saying but something I, th I think that's what they were talking about and then um marking into he was supposed to actually be out here for this game and hit, because the weather because of the weather we've had his flight from Chicago ended up getting canceled um I think he just had a little baby girl girl maybe a little baby I don't know <laughs> um but ended up um 
staying like missing the this trip that they're in california which is the other thing too guys it's almost midnight now and i didn't even the game was over at like 11 30 or something like that and i ended up staying up now until midnight because the the last handful of bulls games have been in california or they've been like in you know a different whole different um time time zone and so the games like that start for us it like started at nine o'clock so it's like nighttime pretty much already um and like i said i ended up going to like 11 30 and so um but as i was saying i don't remember what i was saying about him oh yeah but his plane ended up getting canceled or like something like that um because of i think this winter storm that's coming so he wasn't out there either so we've been without a couple of our our starters as well um but bobby p he picked it up today guys honestly it was a he were you know had more playing time because robin lopez ended up getting ejected but he still was like he had he knocked down some big threes like toward when it mattered at the end of the game so yeah there was that and i didn't get quite as much stuff done on my computer as i wanted to because i kept kind of watching the game um but i did again kind of i started doing a little bit of my walmart list that i want to do for this week and like start grocery shopping in the future so um yeah i guess that's kind of it guys i like i said hoping to get to bed at least a little bit earlier than yesterday well not earlier because it's already later than it was yesterday but hopefully i can get up earlier than i did today um i woke up from my alarm clocks but the problem is sometimes i will just completely sleep through them and sometimes i wake up and turn them off and like i'll hit the snooze button and then i'll go back to bed and sometimes i'll fall into like a deeper sleep and then i sleep through them but i did was actually up a couple times and hit the snooze button on them so i guess that's a good thing uh, but i'm gonna take a shower and head to bed right now i will see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and i'll see all of your sunshining faces tomorrow so bye guys